Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays to be celebrated. If not, I hope you enjoyed the nice, crazily warm day that, you know, just happened. So, yeah, anyway, I'm just, I'm super excited to show you guys my finished crochet goals for 2019. And I believe I labeled them crafty goals last time, but, oh well, what can I say? Okay, so I hope you guys like this new setup. I'm trying something new here, and this is my testing video, kind of. So, yeah, so I got a camera for Christmas, and I'm very excited, and I'm very thankful. So, yeah, and I got these little yarns over here because it just looked bland, and this isn't a podcast, so there's, it's not a really exciting video, but... Okay, so my crochet goals. I completed half of my goals that I set for 2019. And here is what they are. Okay, so I crossed off the 2019 temperature blanket because I stopped doing the temperature blanket and it's obviously not a finished goal, so... I actually had nine goals there, but I crossed them out, so there's an eight now. The second one is the 2017 Calendar Blanket by Jade and Stitches. I didn't finish that one, but I plan on doing that next year. And I actually started working on my my goals for next year. Where's that? Sorry. I was working on my goals last night, and here they are. There's more goals than this year, and hopefully, yeah, I mean, they're more organized. <laughs> okay, so back to my goals for 2019. I wanted to get all my Christmas gifts finished before December, and I'm still working on them right now, so I obviously didn't finish that one. Another one of my goals was to participate in as much charities as possible and like I mentioned beforehand this is a really bland very wide topic and I crossed it off because I participated in Hat Not Hate, Helpful Hookers Unite, Warm Up America and I want to say there's something else but I can't remember. Oh, I also donated some hats to a, to a school charity. That's the other thing. So there's that. And I'm just going to count that off. And that was one of the things that I was working on for 2020 goals. I was, um, you know, I was listing out the charities that I wanted to go instead of just very wide. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but... A year ago, I was still working on the 150 hats for for the charity, and one of my goals was to have the 150 hats done, and, you know, the goal was finished. And I don't know if you guys remember also, but I had this, I had two baby blankets that needed to be, like the two baby blanket sets, and... Um, I, one of my goals was to finish them as well, and I finished that, like, January 1st, <laughs> so that was fun. I wanted to finish the 369 blanket, and I never got a chance to even touch that this year. I've been really busy with other items, and plus life is really, really difficult. <laughs> uh, I wanted to finish... Let's see, what's the, how do I say this? The Summer Stitch Along for 2018. And in one of my podcasts, you can see that I finished it and I showed it to you guys. So you can see my whole progress if you really are that dedicated. 
and then I wanted to finish my grandma's frog blanket and that thing I haven't touched since like 2017 and whew, that that is a problem <laughs> and I don't think I'm ever going to finish that thing you just have to just accept that it's a half of a frog <laughs> Okay, so those are my crochet goals for 2019 finished, and hopefully I'll do better next year. <laughs> I'm going to be showing you guys my crochet goals for 2020. And these aren't just crochet goals, these are also crafty goals as well. And I'm sorry if it's in and out of focus. Okay, so let's just start, shall we? Okay, so I separated my goals into categories this year, unlike last year when I just had a list of nine goals. So, the first section is charity. And for the charity goal goals, I plan on donating to Hat Not Hate, and my goal for that is at least 200, or try for 200. And then Helpful Hookers Unite, they're a Facebook group that also, this is a charity group that I donate to. And I want to try it for something each month. I also want to try donating to Knit and Knockers, Warm Up America, and then I got a spot in case there's, um, there's another organization that I find mid-year. So those are the charity goals. Okay, so then... For the previous goals, I have to, to get my gifts on before December. That's always going to be a goal of mine. <laughs> Last year it wasn't that hot. You know, I, like I mentioned previously, I'm still working on that. Uh, to finish the 2017 calendar blanket, and that's like six more squares maybe, so just half a year. <laughs> finish half a blanket a year, I guess. Finish the 2019 calendar blanket. Oh, these are jade and stitches, by the way. All links are in the, in the description box below. So the 2019 calendar blanket is the full guard blanket. And all I have to do is just make and attach a lot of appliques, which I'm not happy about, but I gotta get this blanket finished. <laughs> and then I'm going to attempt a temperature blanket. Keyword attempt. Last year I said I'm gonna do a temperature blanket, which means that I hope like finish a blanket all year i got to march and i ended up stopping so i have a new um a new sec uh, way to do this so hopefully that's a lot better than last year's so every year i'm just gonna keep on attempting this this is my third year attempting the temperature blanket and i'm very excited okay so that's the previous goals category the next category is yarn, and that's to work through at least two cakes. I have a lot of cakes, and they're taking up a lot of storage, <laughs> and storage for me is buckets underneath my bed. And I have two long buckets that one of them is just filled with cakes, and I want to work, work on that, you know? So work through at least two cakes. <laughs> My next yarn goal is to work through at least three of the blues from the closet stash. And in case you're wondering, there was a sale on Myers at Myers one day. And their Burnett Super Value was on sale for very cheap. I don't remember how much. It was a while ago. But Basically, there was just like a stash of blues there, and in total, I got like 15 skeins, but that's, the blues is included with a brown as well, and I'm not quite sure how much of each, but I know there was a lot. And then, my last yarn goal is to go through at least 25, 25 total yarn wrappers tags, and this year... I did a lot more than 25 so maybe I should bump that goal up a little bit but at least 25 25 for my stash 
Okay, and then the next category is my Etsy shop. And in case you guys didn't know, I have an Etsy shop and I'm very excited about it. It's still fairly new. I started it in November and the link is in the description box below. And if you're looking on my Instagram page as well, it's in the link tree link. Okay, so for my Etsy shop, I'm gonna, my personal goal for that is to attempt to reach 15 sales, and I'm currently at 7. I want to write and sell one pattern, so if you guys have any pattern suggestions, let me know. I would definitely love to try that. And I already have one pattern, it's free, and it's in the description box below if you are interested. And then I also want to start invest in pom-poms to start using. And I know that pom-poms can be kind of pricey like the faux fur pom-poms, but they're totally worth it as well. And if they're going to help with sales in my Etsy shop eventually, then I would like that as well. And then this last one now here, it's in a knitting category, but it's just like sitting there by itself right now. I just want to start knitting more. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about that except that it's been a while before since I've knitted. And I know this year I was doing really well with my knitting. I mean, not compared to crochet, of course, but I was knitting more than I was the year before that. And I I was following patterns and I was it was amazing because I normally don't read knitting knitted patterns. I just read crochet patterns and the fact that I was able to, you know, do do that for a whole nother technique of yarn is amazing in my mind and I just can't wait to see what other technique I'm gonna pick up this year if that's latch hooking or like the punch needle or something like that because every year it seems like I just pick up a new one and I'm, I'm just very excited and I can't wait to see what happens so here's an overview of my goals and if I end up making more goals throughout the year I'll definitely notify you guys on the podcast about that and whenever I complete a goal I'll talk to you guys about that as well and just I don't know we'll see what happens I'm very excited and if you guys would like to see a crochet bullet journal tour each month let me know and I would be happy to post a video of it so just let me know thank you guys for watching bye